All right, we'll do a little unboxing video of the Mad Jax Ultimate Plus Light Kit for the Club Car Tempo. This is what we'll be putting it on. Um, I'm pretty nervous to be cutting that plastic out, so we'll see how it goes when we get there. Uh, got this kit from golfcartstuff.com. Um, as soon as I ordered it, I had a shipping notification in about 30 minutes and it came the next day. So real fast uh, shipping from them. So looks like we've got tail lights. Wiring harness. The uh, 48 volt, 12 volt converter, horn, this looks like that's going to be the uh, brake switch, Do the Turn signal kit. Looks pretty scratched up there. Of course, that'll be the side that's visible. The uh, steering column protector, another protector. One of the headlights. Another light. And the instructions. So that'll do that. Um, I did order the optional, uh, that's what they call the premium headlight template. fit better with two hands but like I said I'm real nervous about cutting into that and making sure it uh, lines up right and clips in right so I may make another video that kind of shows how well this template goes and hopefully I don't have to order a new uh, front hood but I had to get the uh, template from a separate company they didn't have that listed on the golfcartstuff.com but here's everything's in the kit uh, i'm not going to do a full video on me installing this but um, i may do some videos i've got a couple ideas i'm going to experiment with on where to mount this converter so i may add that to, to this video or another video and see how well that works All right, when you get to the step to remove the uh, brake access panel, if you bought a used cart that was used on a golf course or it's a, it's a couple years old, this is going to be pretty dirty. Um, it's going to have all sorts of grass and dirt. You think about how often these carts get hosed off at golf courses, then all that water is going to settle in places and create some mud. Um, mine's pretty clean because a couple weeks ago, I took the mat off and cleaned this all out because I was concerned about that. But these screws like to rust, so you may want to back those out at this point and uh, spray like WD-40 or some type of uh, rust inhibitor on them. But to open the brake access panel, just pull this up. There's a little plastic Christmas tree that's on the back of that that retains that. And then in here is going to be really dirty. So this is a great time to take a shop vac and uh, suck all that out. Um, this brake rod here, the reason it looks brand new is because a few weeks ago when I popped that out, 
Um, that bolt was very, very rusted and corroded, so I, uh, I replaced that. But um, while you're installing this kit, I would take the time to, to clean this out and uh, really spray all the springs that are underneath there with a, a WD-40 to try and prolong the life of those. All right, update for you. I'm about an hour into this so far, and I've been taking my time routing the wires, making sure I like where they're at, but I've got the wiring harness pulled through, brake cables ran, um, got the wires going out to the front, still working on the harness under the dash, um, and I got to the point in the instructions where it calls to start drilling the holes for the tail lights and realize I don't have an inch and a half hole saw. So I had to go buy those and also got some more uh, Dremel bits for the headlights because the uh, Dremel bits I had are pretty old. So just thought I'd give you a quick update. All right, to the point of the horn and headlight install. Um, to make it easier to kind of mount these headlights and the horn, I'm going to take off this front uh, bumper. It's just a 10 millimeter bolt on top and a 13 millimeter bolt on the bottom. Make it much easier to see up there and mount the horn somewhere to that frame, probably towards the back. I'm not gonna be able to pick this up on camera, but I turn my wheels to the right. And I'm going to melt this back to this plate here with one self-tapping screw. I'm going to plug this in first. does not matter which lead goes to which side. So route this around that shock. ready and that's how that's gonna go I'll have to do this off camera all right I changed my mind on that and went away from the self tapping screw um, I did it off camera and I don't know that I can get it again, so I'm not going to take it apart, show you, but I'll talk you through what I did. On the back of that horn was this bracket, and it was uh, screwed on with a 10 millimeter nut. So I backed that nut off, and I started looking up here on this uh, front piece of frame, and you can see it's got these holes um, that are already pre-drilled in there. I'm not sure what they're, they're for, um, but I was able to slip the nut on the back end and uh, hold it there with my finger and then screw the horn through there. And these stick out a little bit. It's not, it, it wasn't the easiest thing to do. That's why I'm not gonna take it off again and try it, but it works. I like that location. The steering components aren't gonna interfere with it at all so i'm gonna try and snug that uh, nut that's on the back side of this for now and 
It is tight quarters, but it's working and I really like the uh, location of that much better. Left, made sure I made my uh, leads tighten down on this outside so I could reconnect it easy or unplug this if my kids get real annoying with this this horn. And here's just another view so you can kind of for reference of where where we're at and that's where it ended up mounting. All right, we've come to the part that I'm probably the most nervous about. And that's cutting out these sections here so the lights can insert. I didn't really like the uh, looks when I was watching the Mad Jacks video online of the paper template. I uh, opted for the premium template. And it was kind of pricey, but... I really don't want to get these crooked or where they won't snap in on all four clips. So we're going to give these a try. Um, I was holding it up a little bit and there's still a little bit of play in here. I'm lining this up so I'm going to use some tape. Maybe act as a third hand. That feels like the least movement now of all sides. Looks like it's got a pretty thick trim bezel on it, so hopefully it will uh, cover any part that I mess up. Looks like it'll set in there pretty well. Take another look at this because this is, uh, you only get one chance with this. Look for the template. As it's gonna get. I'll drill my starter hole, start trimming this out with a Dremel. not set my uh, parking brake from when I was putting the uh, brake parts on so that's going to be important. There goes nothing.
All right, off camera, I've done just a little bit more trimming and sanding. Just kind of holding this uh, light up to it to see if it looks like it is close. And we are close enough now that I'm going to hit record. And if it snaps in, then uh, we're going to leave it. Looks like I've got a little bit more trimming and sanding to do. Alright, I fought that headlight for a little bit and as I'm pushing that light in, this bottom part doesn't have any support. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the uh, hole for the right side and then it's like four Torx screws to just take this front off. So I'm gonna take this part off, then I'll be able to uh, kind of push from the back end, get those lights set in, and then put it all back on as one unit. really just trying to line this up on two sides that top still got a little bit of play in it but I think we're okay Kind of eyeballing a couple of the points here. They seem to be level and symmetrical. We'll go ahead and make this cut. I wish I'd have had safety glasses on first, and the uh, cutting was annoying, so we're going to put some uh, ear protection on this time. Did have one slip there, but I think that uh, bezel of the
headlight will cover that. So I'm gonna sand this down and then uh, take this off and see if that works better for getting the lights set in. All right, I got the uh, this front cover off. So far, this looks like it's gonna work. Well, shut the camera off and work with this a little more rather than have you watch me fight with this. Alright, it didn't take maybe about another minute after I shut the camera off to just keep working it. Um, once I saw how one side kind of clipped in and held, then I uh, repeated the same with the driver's side and uh, it went in pretty easy. I don't see, I don't think I would have ever been able to get these to clip in if it was still on there. I really needed to be able to take this off and manipulate and push it from the back. So just a word of caution. Um, go ahead and put this nose back on now. I have to feed these uh, wires for the lights through their holes in the, this front cowl before we uh, rest in. And then it's just a matter of lining up these plastic clips. bodies definitely don't want to be forceful just keep working from side to side and then we'll clip in place I didn't show taking this uh, front trim piece off but it is just four t20 torque screws to get it off then you can pull the body off just take your time Make sure you don't crack any of the plastic. Here's what we're looking at so far. And I think those lined up pretty well. All right, we'll keep going and get the rest of this buttoned up so we can turn them on and test them out. All right, so here's where we are now. I've got the uh, dash button back up, turn signals on. Um, I did have to dremel a little bit out here uh, to get that wire for the uh, turn signals to come in. Um, I may take a little more off of that. I'm undecided at this time. 
there's a lot of wires to shove in that dash. Um, so be, be patient. Um, I dremeled out a little bit back here where this wire goes in your main power harness, um, which that's hidden, so that's less as important as I wanted this to uh, not look bad. So I'm on the last step now of mounting that power inverter, and it says to mount it in the battery compartment under the seat, um, preferably to something metal. Well, the only thing metal we've got here is this back panel, and I don't really want to start screwing into that because you've got computers and controllers and everything under that. So the last thing I want to do is take a self-tapping screw and run it through that. So I've got a couple options. The most space it looks like I have is going to be right up here uh, over the top of the charger. Which I'll run some self-tapping screws through that plastic. And I think that's going to be a good spot as long as you don't... Uh, run real long screws because there's no wires up there um, it's kind of hollow but here are my ideas of mounting that to something metal in that cabinet um, I picked these up they're just electrical box connectors um, my initial thought was that when I got to the store I grabbed this and this and I think this is gonna be the winner. I'm gonna have to drill some more holes. I think I'm gonna mount the converter to the box that way with the hollow side. That way it's got, and I'll use some washers, but it's gonna have a little bit of a uh, hollow standoff to allow some heat to dissipate on that back end. And then I'll use a couple washers and then uh, I'll screw it to the uh, plastic just like that so we'll see how that works all right after messing around with this a little bit more this is what i came up with i ended up using the uh double gang plate that's got the center hole in it i like how it already has that standoff with it and then i'm gonna have on the back side of that where it attached to the cart metal washer and then a rubber washer that'll hopefully kind of reduce some noise and then that'll offset it a little bit from the uh, plastic front as well and uh, to allow for some heat to dissipate and here is where i've decided i'm going to mount that and i'm probably going to do something move around or uh, pull back zip tie back that negative battery cable there so it's not touching it but I'm gonna get it attached and we'll see how it looks when it's finally installed all right we got it attached in there so far without powering it up I'm pretty happy with it I like how it's got the standoff away from the plastic um, it's really Got a void around it where it's not touching anything. Like I said, I need to do something with this negative battery cable. But we're finally in the home stretch. Um, one concern is I don't have a way to just drill a self-tapper at the bottom of this. So we'll see if that taps over time. If it does, I'll have to back it out and maybe put uh, some sort of adhesive rubber or drill a hole from the front inside that cow and stick a nut and bolt through but we'll try this out see how it goes all right everything is hooked up daytime runners with the hazard lights i think the light install turned out really good um, of all the things that fought me the most getting this uh bezel on the turn signal was pretty hard tail lights everything's working right i've checked it all um some final thoughts with the installation um there's a lot of wires to shove into your dash area 
So take your time, go slow. You will have to have a Dremel and Dremel that out. I'm still, that's okay, but um, I may still go at that at a later time. I'll try and get that to sit a little more flat. Um, the template, I think it was worth it. Um, it gave me a lot of peace of mind and ease um, with lining that up. I don't have the experience with the paper template, so I don't have that to compare it to. Um, it was a little pricey. Um, I'm glad I did it. With this being the new body style, my other thought was it's going to have resale value. I mean, Club Car went with the uh, precedent style from 04 to 18 and have had this kind of style from 18 to present. So as these carts come off the golf course, um, I'll either be able to loan that out to my friends or um, sell it on eBay or Marketplace and get most of my money back. Um, Golfcartstuff.com, very impressed with uh, their service, how fast they shipped it um, a few weeks ago. I got these tires. They're uh, the 12 inch Spider um, on Mamba tires. Um, they weren't the initial ones I ordered. I got an email pretty quick after I ordered saying that their inventory messed up, but they made it right. Um, they upgraded my tire. They got it to me pretty quick. So very happy with their service. I'll keep ordering stuff from them. So um, the Mad Jacks, I pretty much with the kit, I had watched their YouTube video, which I thought was pretty good. Um, I watched it several times uh, just because I like to be thorough when I do stuff like this. Um, so today, I pretty much just followed the booklet. The booklet goes out, it's in a different step sequence than the video. So that's something to be aware of. Um, but between the booklet and the video, it gives you a pretty good start. Like I said, I, I'm mainly making this video because I still had some unanswered questions on the install. Um, things I was not anticipating was happening to remove the, uh, the hood or the front cowl um, to pop those lights in. It made it so much easier and it's really an easy part to remove anyways. So I'm glad I did that. Um, and then uh, removing this front bumper cover. Um, just made it a lot easier to, to get in there to pull wires to install the horn um, and it's really both of those parts were pretty easy to uh, to maneuver and then there's my final uh, product for the uh, converter 48 to 12 volt converter install so we'll go with that for a little bit. If I have to make any modifications to that or uh, changes, I'll try and get another video to show you um, what works. So I hope this helps. If you guys are installing this kit, I definitely like it. Um, still day one, so we'll see longevity wise how it holds up. Um, but I love the look of it. Uh, this took me about four hours of installation time and I was going slow. I was experimenting with things. Um, I do a lot of DIY. I work with tools. So that part was pretty familiar to me. Um, but you can probably expect around that time um, for install, you're going to need a Dremel to, to cut out. You're going to need a, a socket set with some Torx bits um, with it and just some patience. Um, take your time with it. So I hope this video helps, and if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.